The Zurich-based fintech Yoko is one of the rising scale-ups in Switzerland. It has won several prizes and awards and has been expanding to other countries since its founding in 2019. What kind of ecosystem is needed for a startup or a scale-up like Yoko to thrive? Welcome to Finance.Swiss, I'm Tanya Koenig and today I'm speaking with Phil Sali, CEO of the company, to find out more. Phil Sali, thank you so much for taking your time. Tanya, thanks a lot for having me. So for those who don't know Yokoi, can you quickly describe it to us? Sure. Yokoi is a spend management solution. We combine expense management, invoice processing and card payments all on one platform and we automate it through applied artificial intelligence. So we reduce all the manual work that was still needed processing expenses, invoices, saving time and saving a lot of money for our customers. Then I mentioned that Yokoi won a lot of prizes and awards. What kind of ecosystem is needed for a scale-up to thrive like Yokoi does? I believe that there is no given ecosystem, especially not for a young company. I truly believe that you need to create your ecosystem. So creating your ecosystem means that you start looking for the right partners and you start working together with them and see what works out, then you start creating your ecosystem and it also changes while you're growing. Some partners from the very beginning might not be fitting anymore after a couple of years. So that's how we created the ecosystem with SIX, with UBS as our credit card providing partner in Switzerland and so on. So those partnerships, they establish over time because you also need to establish trust with them. Um, have the first success cases. And that's basically how a partnership and the ecosystem then gets very strong. And when it comes to fintech innovations, how does Switzerland compare with other financial centers? It always depends on how you measure it. <laughs> if you measure it in terms of number of fintech unicorns, uh, then we are probably not ranking at the very top. But on the other hand, we, we are a much smaller country. I mean, what's important for me, if we look at the economy as a whole, you basically look at uh, GDP, you look at inflation, unemployment rates, and there we're ranking very well. We're doing very well compared to the other countries. And that means that we've done something right. And one part is probably the entire university and education system. And the university and education system is often also the place where innovation kind of starts or where innovation also gets funded. A lot of startups come out of university. We are also a partner with the University of St. Gallen uh, and, and so on. So, I mean, those places do get a lot of attention funding in Switzerland. And I believe this is absolutely the right way. It's not yet the case that we have a huge number of success cases of young companies coming out and really building those huge empires and going public, you know, what you would really read then in the newspaper. But uh, I do believe we're doing the right thing. Uh, we, we, are, we are investing in the right place and we will see, we'll harvest later on, we'll see good progress. That's why I'm, I'm very confident. What is the relationship between fintechs and traditional institutions? How do traditional financial institutions collaborate with new players in the financial center? Traditional institutions, they have the benefit of trust, reputation, and for a young player, you have pretty much none of that yet. You have to build that up. What you have, though, is agility. You're, you're very agile, you're fast, you can develop, you can use the newest technology that is out there, while uh, the more established institutions don't have that. They're built on aged code and so on. So, I mean, there is an interest from both sides. They want to make sure that they can tap into that young speedboat. Um, and as a young company, you want to you wanna make sure that you're seen as a trusted player in the market. So there is a win, I mean, then it always needs to be a win-win. But there is a true win-win there. And if you find the right partner where you can have a common product or common customer segment, then you find that win-win. And I mean, obviously the established player still needs to trust you. It's a trust game. But when you find that, then it's basically, it's set up for success. And that's what we need. We certainly need more of those combinations, but they're not easy. And it's also okay if it sometimes doesn't work out. 
you try, you talk to each other, you brainstorm on ideas, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and that's fine. We should try much more, and uh, we should probably even do that from a very early stage. We did it after a couple of years, but you could start doing that when you're still at university, when, you, when you're really starting out with your first couple of customers and when you really start building a startup. Six also invested in Yokoi. Um, what is their goal besides a return on investments? I mean, I, I hope it's also to actually uh, fund and, and get the Swiss ecosystem and, and, and the Swiss fintech place uh, established. And I truly believe so. I, I truly like the people from, from Six. Um, very good people. They invested in us very early. And going in early is always a huge bet. You basically invest in people in the beginning. Because a company in the very beginning doesn't have much. It does not even have a fancy office. A um, couple of people or, and maybe one, two customers, and that's it. So you truly invest in people. And that's where it probably goes back to that education sector. You want to you make sure that you invest in something that, that you can harvest later on. And money, re return on invest is certainly one part. But it's also employment. It's probably even even tax for the for for the government. It's basically that economy that you want to strengthen as part of the system. And six with its ambition is probably the best example for that. Phil Sally, thank you very much. Tanya, thank you. Mm -hmm.